Greetings friends, it's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and today I have another watercolor that I worked on while I was waiting for my computer to be repaired. This one is a tulip wrap. <laughs> I really love these, what are they, painted tulips? Rembrandt tulips? They're very wrinkly and filled with uh, color and texture and I just think they're gorgeous. Um, I had mixed a lot of this orange and pink and really wanted to use it up. I'm on an orange and pink roll with my watercolor. So here we are, another uh, orange, yellow, and pink uh, painting with flowers. As you can see, I drew it all in in pencil. I taped my paper down to my board and I just start on a light wash with lots of color and just a little bit, um, lots of water and a little bit of color. I'll put on more color on the second layer. I have to take lots of breaks because my hands start hurt. I have a little bit of a carpal tunnel problem, apparently. Lots of artists have that problem. It really is lessened quite a bit with me working in uh, yoga. Somehow it helps my wrists to do that, so I'm doing it. As you can see, I work one petal at a time, put on lots of water, little color, let it bleed and run, and then jump over to a petal that isn't touching the wet one. And that way it does look kind of random, and I'm going back and forth a lot, but you have to wait for each one to dry completely before you can do the one next to it, or it, they just bleed together and it's uh, it doesn't work. Watercolor is uncontrollable in that respect that you have to wait for it to dry to get good control. Now I'm using a lot of alizarin crimson and purple lake from Windsor & Newton in the interior of my flower um, plus a little bit of, of um, diazonine violet to, to give the interiors of the tulips a deepness so that they look like they go back into space. The hard part is when the interior is yellow. Yellow is a very light color and likes to kind of come forward toward you. But you want to push it back so that it looks like it's inside. So I have to add a little tiny touch of green to those interiors as well as orange. Now I'm working on the paper wrap. I like to use a glass plate for my palette, as you can see it there in the bottom right corner. I think glass works so much better than plastic. I used to use plastic, but it just, it pools wrong. It kind of makes little drips and bubbles of paint. It doesn't work as well as, as the glass. And I can get the glass at the dollar store, so why not? So there it is, my finished tulip wrap. 
I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed painting it. Really a lot of fun for me. Ah, I am glad my computer's back though. Thank you so much for watching. I sure appreciate it. Check out my links below, my books and my Patreon page. And do subscribe and come again. Bye now.